mentoring program that pairs aspirational young people with industry leaders. The goal? To give them a career start. It's called the Carabina Program. We met a teenager who's already got a foot in the door working alongside sports commentator Bill Francis. And I always had a gift, you know, always had a bit of wit and a good sense of humour and had a, you know, my mouth always would get me into like, you know, good places or get me in trouble at the same time. So I thought, oh, well, um, being in the sports media or some kind of role in that would be always, you know, it was always would be a good career goal. Not exactly what you'd say at a job interview, but 18-year-old Josh is planning a career as a sports commentator. The crowd's gone, look, the crowd's we'll now right. Oh, right. look out. Mild cerebral palsy affects yeah. his left arm and means a playing career was never an option. Because I was disabled, I knew I wasn't going to be an athlete, but I still wanted to be heavily involved in the industry. Earlier this year, Josh applied for the Carabina program, a scheme where teenagers with disabilities are given the chance to test the water in their dream career. His application had a novel approach, which caught the eye of the program coordinator, Cameron Colcoon. On his application form, it said that um, he'd won an award called the Class Clown. And I thought, oh, this guy's got a, you know, he's obviously got the fume of here, and in his written application, it came across of um, his achievements in life, um, his passion towards the um, industry which he wants to get into. And so Josh found himself living the dream, being mentored at News Talk ZB by sports commentator. Bill Boy, Francis, like one of the best in the Bill business. No, Today, no, no. we're listening in on Bill putting Josh um, through his paces. Home. Yeah, to bring out yeah. Mount Smart. Yeah. Well, how are you doing, Curtis? Pretty good. How you doing, Curtis? Good, good. Well, we're just about to have a few words on air, so let's count down to the next five seconds and we'll start. It's about, yeah, this one. Okay, here we go, Josh. So, Josh, how do you think the Warriors are going to go this year? Definitely they're a force to be reckoned with at home, I think. But when it comes to playing them, you know, outside New Zealand soil, they're going to, you know, they seem to struggle. So, yeah, 50-50 at this stage. Mind you, one of the disturbing things about you, Josh, is that you, while Warriors is your local team, you actually yep. follow one of the teams in Australia, which is a yep. bit strange. Yeah, that's the one. They're the Cowboys. You know, I've always been a fan of... You know, lesser teams. And He's really good. So I'm impressed. I think Sydney are going to cause a bit of damage this season. I suppose the the main role is to to meet with Josh on a weekly basis, um, talk to him about um, some of the things that he's doing in his study at AUT, and try and give him help and direction in that respect, but also to open up some opportunities for him to see. Uh, how radio works and and whether he might be able to attain those goals. Josh has weekly sessions with Bill. The mentoring includes voice training and the experience of ad-libbing on air. He's been to uh, Mount Smart and sat in for one afternoon with our rugby league commentator, Alan McLaughlin. And these are sort of opportunities that, that the normal um, student might not get. The work experience dovetails perfectly with Josh's tertiary studies. He's doing communications at AUT. The great thing about his career choice is his cerebral palsy doesn't factor. Well, it's mild cerebral palsy on the left-hand side of my body, so it took me a lot longer to walk than anyone else, but, you know, I had a like a splint to help keep my foot straight. In my arm, it's pretty bad. Um, you know, there's no strength in the forearm. I had a few operations on it. Uh, including Botox to loosen off the muscles and to make it look more natural because it used to curl up in like a you know in a little fist. Josh was adopted from Romania when he was nine months old. Now he didn't find out that he had mild cerebral palsy until after you brought him home. That's right. Is that an issue? No, no, not at all. Um, we'd already bonded with him and fallen you know fallen in love. So at the end of the day, it was it could have been anything really, but. Um, Going to a place like Romania, you know, it's, it's, you're playing Russian roulette a bit. Later on, his parents took Josh back to Romania to reconnect with his birth country. Um, well, first of all, I had to like kill, make my own dinner by killing a pig. 
So um, that was all, that was pretty fun, I suppose. It was just, you know, really different, real third world sort of stuff, you know. Josh's so. parents decided to provide him with constant challenges yeah. to overcome his CP. We wanted him to get out there and do everything that a normal kid would do. Watching, actually watching the game before we all headed out. Focused and determined, you get the feeling Josh just might be destined for commentating greatness. He certainly has his sights set high. Commentating a grand final, I think that will be end of the line. Right there, you know, anything above that will be pretty special, but that's where I want to be.